Hello and welcome back to another episode of Building Your Junction. Yes, it's becoming a series now. It's been really popular actually and I'm quite overwhelmed by the number of requests and junctions for me to build and try to, to replicate here in Series Skylines. So I guess, well, if this is working and you're all enjoying this, I'll definitely uh, do a series of this as far as I have some requests and I do have so many requests at the moment but keep them coming and I'll try my best to get you all of them. So what I have today is the Spaghetti Junction in Birmingham, UK. This is a quite nice junction actually. I quite enjoy it and it's really a spaghetti junction as you can see. There is a lot of roads going uh, up and uh, down uh, through the the whole um, connections here through the whole highways. I think we have um, one, two, and maybe yeah, two main highways and one main road connecting to all of this. So what I want to do is well, I'll start here at the uh, corners and build the whole thing in the middle, including the hopefully the. Uh, roundabout over here, which seems quite nice. I don't know if I'll do the, uh, the the rivers or the canals in there, because that might be a little bit too much, but I will do the train lines. So this over here is a train line, so I hope I remember I should do that, but this is something that I, I want to do as well. And we are here in actually a different map now, as you can see. This is the, um, the junction, the interchange test map. I think you probably saw Yambo TV or Bifa working with this map recently. And as I'm having like a lot of questions about, well, how is the traffic flowing through uh, the whole thing? Is this working? Is this like, uh, it's a functional junction and well, it's a functional junction and it works if it's properly connected. So what I want to do here is actually take advantage of these connections and make sure that we uh, can actually show uh, in the roads being used and how that actually work. And what I try to do now that we do have a specific map for this as well, I can't put just the junction as an asset uh, in the workshop because this is too big for just one asset and these junctions that we are doing are just massive. Uh, I'll try to share the map. So you'll probably need like the uh, well, download this, uh, th this map that I'll be putting on the workshop. I'll put a link in the description of the video. And then I, you probably need traffic manager because I'll uh, set some conditions for that and the intersection marking too, as we do the detailing of the, the junctions using, just using that. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, again, let me know if you have suggestions or uh, if you have any requests in the comment section and let's jump into it. But before we do, just a reminder, First, leave a like if you're enjoying the, uh, the series. And second, the way I'll do this, I'll use the image overlay, which is on the screen right now, which is like what we are using to see the, the image of Google Maps in the map. And then I'll draw all the roads. Then next part will be uh, getting the correct levels. And then uh, there'll be a mix of node controller and intersection marking tool so we can get the connections properly set up. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side of the build and enjoy the music. Good Lord knows I've got explaining to do. See, I'm the kind of guy with a couple of dreams. Everything you're looking at ain't what it seems. I don't live here, I'm just a passing through. Can't a man like a naked woman like you. Till my house in the hills driving my Corvette Hell, it ain't 
just ain't true yet Sometimes you're a fire, sometimes you're a ghost Sometimes you can't hear me, I'm 
Actually, we are beating our records here, <laughs> so it's been quite a long time, but I finally done it. So this looks pretty cool, and I even added the river tank here at the bottom just to make it a little bit nicer. But there we go, let's remove the overlay. As you can see, like the overlay is exactly the same, so you can take a look at how that's looking. And obviously, I'm keeping myself up to the borders here although i expanded a few areas just so we could have this connection to the uh to the outside connections and make all this uh to work for us i've removed some connections as you can see over here over here there 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 so we can funnel traffic through the junction instead out from outside so you can see all the cars going through and actually see that that's uh, actually working and it's not like all fake so all the markings everything is all done so let's just take a look at it as you can see they can't go through this area here and where you have the the stripes or chevron chevrons <laughs> same deal in here and then this like you, you split in the middle you have two lanes over there that then merge in here same over there and this goes like this all the way like for example along here and then this moves out from the right um, lane into the left one and then merges into this area and well this is all working they are not using the wrong lanes they are not crossing each other's way here we've used traffic manager to avoid that from happening as you can see they're not doing some weird stuff at the junctions and um, yeah uh, this is one of the only connections that i did manage to get it completely right again i don't have the five lane highway i might actually have to get it for future builds but i i did i think the only difference here is that we actually have this one merging into that so otherwise everything is looking properly and then from here um, i didn't bother with those connections as again they are not from the the build itself and but everything else is as it should i love this uh this change here so this is looking quite nice i I like these little details on those uh, ramps, on those highways, and here is also the roundabout connected. So as you can see, the whole roundabout is connected, it's also set up with traffic manager, 
as you can see so everything properly connected and this is okay quite well actually sometimes it backs up a little bit as you can see but it's like there's a lot of traffic this is very uh, unreal if you think about the the real place so i don't think it gets that busy uh that's also the levels in here so you have this level that's cool as high as we have anywhere then you have the second level here then you have this third level and then you have ground level so it's all looking pretty cool so there we go and i'll do some quick cinematics but let me know in the comments what you think and if you want to see more builds like this i really enjoy building those and it's been quite fun to do it so let me know in the comments and Leave a like if you enjoy it as well. This really helps me. And I spent four hours on this. And just leave a like, please. <laughs> anyway, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.